Este es Ron con Ana Computers. Dacamo otro video para ti hoy. Google, Google, Google. Another problem with their Pixel 2. Dumb device. I mean, smart device. Alleged. <laughs> Alleged smart device. This problem deals with Google Assistant, which is a voice activated assistant on Android operating system. Instead of typing in keyword re s s keywords into you know Google search, you talk to Google Assistant, and then it you know performs searches for you. This will not work for some users that also have Bluetooth headphones, third-party Bluetooth headphones. So you have a Google Pixel 2 dumb device, I mean smart device. Then you're using wireless Bluetooth headphones, third party. And then you're using Google Assistant. Well, Google Assistant is not detecting your voice, especially it seems, especially if you lock the screen and you allow the display screen to go into some kind of a hibernation mode. It seems like I could be wrong, but it seems like there's less of a problem if you make sure that the screen is not locked and there is no screensaver or it's not in some kind of a power saving mode. And then I do not believe in coincidences. There are pre-orders for the Google Pixel Buds, <laughs> which are wireless Bluetooth headphones is this a marketing ploy to get you to purchase the Google Pixel Buds which cost hundred and fifty nine dollars I don't know now I could only I couldn't independently verify it I only ran across one person that claimed that they've received their Google Pixel Buds and they were still having the same problem with Google Assistant so the Pixel 2 it has had a terrible track record. There's already issues with the screens burning in, which could be permanent, and also an issue with discolored display. And then also now you have this bug and there was another bug, and you can't make this shit up. I'm not even done yet. There are some customers claiming which I think it's true that they have ordered their Google Pixel 2 and when they receive it there is no fucking operating system on the device <laughs> how the fuck is that possible how can you manufacture a five hundred dollar one thousand dollar device and sell it as a computer device and then you ship it to somebody and there is no operating system loaded that's that's beyond all logic I've sold computers on eBay and Amazon used computers I've tried to sell new computers that's almost impossible to even compete if I were to ship out a computer a laptop or a desktop without a fucking operating system I would never ever hear the end of it. I would get one stars. I'd get blasted. I'd get phone calls. I'd get emails. Yet a billion dollar corporation. Oh, oh, okay. Well, where do you want to go today, Aaron? Well, Aaron, well, well, goddamn it, Aaron. You don't need an operating system, Aaron. You're too dumb, anyways. The smartphone is smarter than you, Aaron. What, Aaron? Come on, Aaron. You don't need an operating system on your Android. Quit being silly, Aaron, goddammit. I mean, there is no patch for this problem as of this video and my blog post creation. You might want to check out my blog post linked in the description box of this video so that you can read the forum post at uh, Google's official forums pertaining to this bug. Now, Google alleged humans at Google are aware of this, but it does not seem to me, at least, that they're taking this all that serious. You know what I'm saying? Again, I, it deals with, I think, just Google Assistant. 
But still, why develop something if it does not work? And they didn't test? I mean, the Google Pixel 2 has had so many problems. I just, I'm not religious, but I'm glad that I have an older dumb device. I have an HTC 626. I only paid $60 for it. It's a quad core. I haven't had that many problems. I really haven't noticed really any major bugs, being honest. And yes, I have used Google Assistant on that Android, but I have not attempted to use, you know, Bluetooth headphones. I do not use Google Assistant. I tried it out once just to see what it was like, and it doesn't really work. All. It's it's really what's a proper adjective or a proper term intermittent it's intermittent sometimes i talk at it and it doesn't pick up what i said correctly uh, you gotta like maybe i don't know what it is but you have to like really hold the android close to your vo your mouth and you gotta talk loud and it, it does not always interpret what i say i do not other than that i've only tested it i do not use google assistant and i do not use bluetooth headsets so let's get into some technicalities number one the Google Pixel 2 dumb device I mean smart device excuse my Freudian I mean Freudian slip which isn't a sl Freudian slip because the word dumb and smart <laughs> oh, all right moving on I digress back to this report the Google Pixel 2 ships with Android Oreo operating system. Also, the Google Pixel 2 ships with Bluetooth version 5. According to one person, possibly from Google, that is not named, we don't know who these people are, for all we know it's artificial intelligence robots. Their point of contention is that, number one, the Google Pixel 2 ships with Bluetooth version 5. So, they claim that you must have compatible Bluetooth 5 headphones. So it could be that older headphones or headphones that are not compatible with Bluetooth 5 are not going to work just because of that, which to me is also beyond logic. I, I, I don't understand that. Why wouldn't... I don't understand why the Google Pixel 2 would not be backwards compatible with earlier versions of Bluetooth. I'm not understanding the logic, but that is one possible explanation. So as a solution is that make sure that your Bluetooth headsets that you are using are Bluetooth version number five compatible because and because of the configuration. And I'm not sure if, you know, Oreo shipped with I'm assuming Oreo would have then shipped with Bluetooth version 5 but again there's a concept called backwards compatibility so that's what we're we are at I want to emphasize this point again Google has shipped the Google Pixel 2 to customers without an operating system they receive the Google Pixel 2 they turn it on and nothing happens. <laughs> I don't need to say anything further. Adios. Oh, quickly. There is no patch available yet. I'm not sure if Google is concerned. I'm not sure if they're working on a patch. I just don't know. And then also, like I said, there was one report allegedly of one person that had the Google the Pixel Buds, which are wireless Bluetooth headsets, wireless Bluetooth ear, earphones, earbuds, that they also claim that it would not work with Google Assistant. So perhaps my conspiracy talk is incorrect. Adios.